I'm so excited right now because it's nearly Christmas and when I say Christmas I mean geek Christmas because it's about a week away from when The Force Awakens open. Yeah, you know it. It is that time of the week one more time to sit down, take a couple of bite-sized chunks of geek food and ingest it and take it all in. It is time for our geek out. Darren Harper, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Our geek out. I'm John Ishwood, this is Darren Harper. Hello. Let's get going, talking about what is on the telly right now, shall we? Darren Harper, there is not much going on at the moment, is there? No. Because it's getting towards Christmas, everything's finishing. Yeah, everything's finishing. You've got Christmas specials of this, that and the other coming out. Uh, but as for geek stuff to watch, yeah. There's not that much. Fairly poor. No, it is fairly poor indeed. Um, but there is some great stuff on the horizon, John. Just in that new year, uh, uh -huh. we are looking forward to it. We've spoken about it before, X-Files is coming back, of course. Yes. Uh, the brand new teaser came out uh, this week, and uh, well, it, it does look excellent. We've got some uh, air dates, but only in the US at the moment. Okay. Uh, they're airing it, a two-night premiere of the X-Files event series. Uh, it's a six-part series, as we know, and it starts on Sunday the 24th of January, and it's on Monday the 25th of January as well. So a two-night premiere for X-Files. As when it starts on the UK, we don't know, but I would imagine it's going to be around about that same time, end of January. Uh, I'm, I'm getting really excited about it, I must admit. I can't wait. Mulder and Scully were just the best characters when I was mm. growing up. I love that show. It was brilliant. And they've just released a new website which is a Tumblr website. If you go to the X-Files on Twitter, you'll find it on there. And you need a password to get into it. Can I spoil it? Why? The password. I want to spoil the password. Why? So everyone can see it. Go on then. It's X-Files. It's X-P-H-I-L-E-S. Get that in there, and then you get to a website where you don't really know what you're doing because it's just an image and it says, what's this? All right. That sounds very exciting. I know, it's brilliant, <laughs> but I don't know what's going on with it. It's really confusing, but I can't wait for it. it. It looks amazing. This whole series looks brilliant. I can't wait for Mulder and Scully to come back into our lives, along with Skinner. Yeah. Cigarette smoking man. Yeah, I thought he was dead. And some aliens. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be a smattering of them. Oh, it's going to be brilliant. Apparently there is a couple of mythology episodes in this, so can't wait to see those. X-Files starting, mm. also in the new year, and I know a lot of people are getting bored of this kind of stuff, another superhero series is going to be kicking off. What's that? Legends of Tomorrow, which is going to be on the CW. This is the home to Arrow and The Flash. Smallville. And it's, yeah, Smallville as well. Uh, and it's, and was Birds of Prey on that? Possibly. Yeah, random. Uh, but it's a kind of spin-off of uh, Arrow and The Flash in a way, and it's a whole bunch of characters. Uh, which include Ray Palmer, who was, of course, Brandon Routh. You've got Wentworth Miller in there, who's Captain Cold, you know, from Prison oh, right. Break. Yeah, of course. Uh, and uh, you've got Victor Garber as well, who played uh, uh, the, the, the father of uh, the main character in Alias. Okay, uh, this and sounds intriguing. They're all going to be a big team of sort of ragtag superheroes. This is the Hawk Girl and uh, Hawkman scenario in this one. And they're all getting together to save the world, but they're doing it in a kind of quantum leap time travel style uh, with a guy. Uh, who is played by Arthur Darville, who used to be in Doctor Who. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's going to be the man who's taking this whole set of uh, uh, characters on a journey to fight a guy called Vandal Savage, who's an immortal, so I don't know how they're going to beat him. Sounds intriguing. CW, which we don't get over here, but I'm sure it'll be on Sky. I expect it's going to be on Sky 1 because that's what's Arrow and, uh, yeah. and The Flash. I think it's going to be on there. But yeah, Ray Palmer, again, another superhero played by Brandon Routh. I think he's got the market cornered. Yeah, well, I hopefully he's a bit better at this than he is at Superman. Yeah, yeah, he was mm, yeah, not very good at that, no. really, was he? No, he was not. 